something that your body can't get to the ball. It was for making inroads, but Ajaman's ball is intercepted. Here is Kunedu. Halfway there from Bete. But it's Wafa coming close. Sharif had to come in to deny Oforia Ajaman. Yeah, the ball is bouncing all over the place. They've got to go and clear the alliance. I think Sharif is the one putting Oforia Ajaman under some pressure. Otherwise, he gets a clean hit at it. Even with the pressure, it's still something that troubled that lad. I thought he was worried when he was trying to fly across corner now for Wafa to try and cause more problems. Any pressure from the academy boys were just a minute into the second half and they look more purposeful. And it's for his ball in not clip really well by Apio, but it's Gama who pops up and net it to Owusu, but that pass went for Ituga ends up going out for a throw in. So Wari who was fitted in so well into that speed vacated by Ibrahim Abukari, the former captain whose contract wasn't renewed, fouled on a mountain by Mensa in G. Yusuf goes out for a goal kick. For here is Samson in Japan. Lovely run from the Japan, but the ball ends up with a bill. There's a poor touch from Sharif, who's been bitten to it. Ends up in G, but there's a clearance from Jamana straight to the lot. But a zero. Got to go yet to win again since beating out to walk. Flag is up in a two guys offside. Yeah, two guys already straight offside, now trying to return to an onside position. to play, keep the ball on the top and it's a well. Here comes Wafa, flag goes up, Diara is just offside. Yeah, he just is Yeah, just enough. 
I just ran two early legs from, from this angle, it looks pretty tight. I feel like it's up. This quality is not really expected in that offensive position is playing now. It commands when, you know, the play, I think, you know, Boasu when they played against Ashford, he was at right back and he was a disaster. <laughs> so it's a game you feel very much not want to remember. I flooded down on the side. It's almost as like an open gate down that side. Is it? He's put a good shift today. Yes. I think it's more comfortable when it's playing in the middle of the park. And it's not, it's not better for in the face to, to be a fullback. Now that Anna is in the last the foul. Mark May again has been fouled by Derek Mensah. Mark May may counter that the fourth foul again by, by the same man. And I said about I'm surprised that I know they like to possess the ball and move the ball around well with huge movement forming triangles here and there but I'm surprised it's not, it's not turned this game into slightly physical but what we've seen of this one side is that they just can't cope with physicality and I've not seen with the Siri or you know Nete I've seen the particular players turning this game into a more physical contest while they they add the, the quality they've gone the ball to it at the moment it's like open play body passing through and it's, it's helping Wafa's course Half half two players down, but Kotoko won't mind. They're on the offensive. Here is Amankona up against Mensa Injun. Lovely play from Amankona, but he's not finding the space to deliver the ball into that territory where Ituga is. Great awareness from Francis Boatin to head the ball away from the advancing in fair game. Yeah, Francis Boatin does well here because there's danger in behind him from the fair game. Had to make sure he was getting something on the ball. And Malcolm had, had an opportunity. When, when he checked on Tiers Ryan, he had an opportunity of slipping Gamma through or passing the ball to Gamma and he checked back on to this week after the chance was going to do that. Now the incident again is the London that, that, that really caused some problem there. Yusuf ball in looking for Mankuna, he has the ball down, here is a Fege, in Fege! I say Munsu is up to the task. Yeah, everything was was looking promising until the final contact which was weak. And Mankuna does want to win the ball on the far side. Fege controls the ball with the chest on the turn. Just can't generate enough power with the pit. Almost a feeble effort into the hands of the goalkeeper. Here is Michael Zulu. Goes down from the challenge of Inferge and Inferge disagrees with the call of Clement Nkua. I think Zoo slips. I think he down. I think he loses his foot in there. He's slipping into Inferge. I'm not sure if Inferge brings him down. Well, well, well there's that collision. Look at Zoo's feet. And it clutches into Inferge. But yeah. I think, I think while, he's, while he's slipping, he's going down. Inferge then is making contact with him. I think he lost his foot in first year. Michael Zhu, the 17 year old JHS grad, he's got two goals and 16 appearances. He's 17 years and he's making his 17th appearance for Wafa in the afternoon against the league leaders and he's been impressive against them. Well, let's see if there's some luck in that number 17. Yeah. Free kick for Wafa, there's Michael Zou and the Samson Edge up on. Got a good wall formed by Nete and Ferge. 55 minutes, free kick. Advantage Wafa. But there will be a substitution before. So you called for Justice Tosuche 
and just as Tofuche will come in to replace Imam Ola Ajiman. Yeah, like, like Jane, Tofuche is going to provide that presence for them up front to flag that in, in the ball game. Samson in Japan delivers Ofori to Jihada, whose effort is blocked. There is a worry. We switch it to the right side. It's a powerful header away by Charles Owusu. Jamina, Diara, Ofori, Jamina, Ejapon. Brilliant build up by Rafa. Brilliant, brilliant build up from Stakti. The point is where they're not made the saves. The Japan is a confident lad. Takes Amakura out of the game so easily. Amakura's biggest strength is not defended, but he's the one who's had to track back. Credit to him, but he's beaten. But the lad on his side is not going to be beaten. Yeah, it's the most difficult effort he's had to deal with today, Danlad. Okub knows the threat. Wafa started posing. Japan swings it across. Defend your headset. But Tosuche is not getting the contact that he wanted. It's Diara. He's fouled by Fede. Wafa gets a free kick. He knows what he's looking for, Diara. All he wanted to do. Ituba is looking for Gama. Wari hits the ball away from Gama. And before he's trying to get to food. But it's Mete who comes up with a header that goes to go through. Jamina was looking for the foul. Yeah. And the scoreline right there. One manager is down, one is up. Yeah, offer manager down, Kotoko manager up. Clear depiction of what is transpiring on the pitch. Zoo has made way for Emmanuel Itori. Itori, one of the 17 year olds promoted from the academy. Yeah. Tedeku also coming to replace Michael Jamna, John Tedeku. There's a left back, there's Francis Watson at left back as well. So Marvin Owusu goes out for Francis Watson goes out for John Tedeku. It's a life for life change. And then Marvin Owusu goes in for Jamna. What it means is that Wafa will play with more men in attack. It's very much going to be looking like a 4 4 2 because it's going to be Mano Fori and Sheikh Diara in the middle of the park. So she just stays on side, but whistle eventually goes. It was a late call. Flag had gone up, but their feet didn't spot it early enough. Yeah, that's close, that's really tight there. Sister Riffy on the far side doing a very good job. Free kick. Nete. Awari gets away possession with a zero. Lovely switch. Looking for Amankuna. Gets to Amankuna. He's up against Mexa Inchi. Amankuna goes down. It's the turf. He doesn't get a foul. Shows the support. These two teams have a total of 13 matches between them. Kotoko have won five times, Wafa have won five times, and four of those games have ended in draws. But here is a Brazilian who sets for Kotoko second. It is Fabio Gama. And his effort is just. 
drifts him wide and out for a goal kick. And when he was weaving into the box from there, I'm thinking Gamma is going to go for the killer. Surprisingly, he's gone through the laces and nowhere near the target. of referee Kua to award a free kick against him. Can I all of that I call that I think again from the referee in my opinion that's it wrong. Last time off I played here, they were impressive against Brickham Chelsea, whom they beat by three goals to two, went away to draw, to lose against Mediama, and that has been the story for them this season. Inconsistent results, week in, week out, you don't survive the top flight with inconsistencies. It's still goal as in Tichima between Olympics and the Struggling 11 on this side. So it's Gamma who takes a bow for Pieke. Yeah, Gamma. Hasn't necessarily been at it today, Gamma. His passing hasn't been at the level that we become accustomed to of him or by his own standards, but he's played his bow, takes his bow, helped this team to get into the lead, and Pieke comes into the middle of the park to add an extra body in there. I fancy it's going to be. They're very much a flat 4 3 3 with Kayaka, Murasu, and Sharif in the middle of the park. I like what, what tends to be the 4 2 3 1 for the most part of the game when Gamma was in behind the two guys. Tiara checked by Nete. Now here is Mudasir. Kayaka can get to the Warriors. Next side, MG. Now, Age of Born. Asking so much from Mensa, MG with that pass. And yeah, the highlight of their game. Again, it was. I think it's, it's supposed to be a simple ball for Japan to just roll it to the path of MG Mensa, but you might lose the pass. from Ofori. Kayeke. He was going for the ball, but Ofori was in the way. He kicked him. Yeah, he did kick him. I'm thinking the referee just gave himself a second. That is Wafa on the counter attack. And he can always come back to this. Unless he gives a red card, then yeah, he stopped the game and flashes that card, but there was going to be a yellow card. And it's not a serious injury. I think Wafa could have advantage because Patrick had to this forward and Wafa could have been behind them. The two guys are fine. Five minutes away from 90 minutes here in Sogakope. Survival ambitions of Wafa. 
trading away by the weak. The result stays this way. This stays same place on the league log on the 17th spot. Scary times for the academy lads. Yeah, I can't get to do it. Here is Tedeku with a zero finds and fake. A lovely pass to find the Tuga. Here is a Tuga creating space for himself. It is a Tuga. Back hill and Fagas drive. Parik for a corner by Bonsu. Yeah, it looked like a good move from a Tuga, but Amakuna won't be happy because there he is. He's, he's still in search of his first goal for Kotoko. He's into a good space, but it took that somewhat ignored him for the want of better words, which is for the rival of Fege. Back is smooth, the drive is not as powerful as Fege would want. Amakuna isn't happy because he was in a good space. Amakuna's corner eluded Etuga and the Wafa defenders in the box for a corner for a throw in. Kayeke. Shareed Mohammed looking back for Shareke. Is it Kayeke but also comes out? Saves the situation but goes down and holds his face. Committing the foul. You can hear him coming, Chippers, when I tell him shouting up. And Fergie to go forward, go forward. Yeah, you want to get want to get a ball far away from, from your goal, deep into the territory of your opponent. It's not just delivery, Credo is first to the ball. Beast it to switch it to it and goes past with Fori trying to pull one through for Tuga Kredu stops it but ball is still with Kotoko. It is Amankuna, Amankuna. The step progress does not produce anything positive for Amankuna. Five minutes of additional time at the Wafa Park. Ziegler, found it too easy to cut around him. But he's ever since left his lessons, he's been solid. Found by Tuga, but it's Kotoko who regained possession so swiftly. Here is Ituga onto the path of Infrage. It is Infrage, but the same one says now. Awari had to keep. Fege in check. Right in the final seconds of stoppage time, Owusu again defensively very much in the business as he stops a Japan. Prosper Nateogum wants to buy some time. Yeah, for the most part, that move was so calm and cool and composed. The same Owusu went down too early and too easily, but when you've got a man who is good. The presence of mind and who has a clear picture of what he wants to do before it happens. That is what you get. The match winner at the moment. There's some water who comes in for the Premier League's top scorer. Mofori, Itori, Tedeku. Tedeku's cross. And appeal, right place, the right time. Sends the ball to safety. That is a corner for Wafa. Final moments. 
Up on this corner. Lots of push it desperately for the equalizer, appealing for a penalty. Here is Tosuche. And Clement in Kua. Whistles for the end of the game here. In Sogakope. After seven visits, Kotoko have finally won at the home grounds of the West Africa Football Academy. The beaten Wafa by 1 0. Can't see the Premier League stop scorer. Frank Mbele and Tuga was 18th goal of the season. Another home defeat for Wafa after losing to Ashanti Gold and Kim Faisal. Another Ashanti regional team have come all the way from the Ashanti region to beat Wafa here in Sogakope. Kotoko back to winning ways after losing two consecutive games to RTU and Legon Cities. They extend their lead back on the summit of the league law now on 55 points, but it's Wafa who will stay down on the 17th spot of the law with 26 points. It's over here in Sogakope. Wafa, Neo, Asante Kotoko 1. Survival mission for Wafa, Asante Kotoko in a bid to win and keep their top spot on the league long, it was Wafa who came in with early initiatives trying to cut the Kotoko defense. Michael Zou with a 1 2 with Tiara and Zou's effort going wide. Dunlad nearly kept in Wafa with the opening goal, but Ofori is not lucky. His accuracy is lacking. Fadio Gama onto the part of Fregen. He swung in one for Etuga. He went down from the challenge of Awari. Referee would not see anything wrong with that. Here Mete is popping up. He finds Etuga who sets up with a zero and goalkeeper save also is making a good save from that one. The brightest scoring chance for Kotoko in the first half. The awareness from Etuga to set up with a zero was awesome. And that effort from the zero, Ferencio's drive met with a good save from Bonso to end the first half. Goalers. Back from recess. Wafa was probing for the opening goal that they never found. Not even the substitutions. Breaking Marvin Owusu, Joseph Sotuche could check the tie. Owari nearly gifted the Tuga with his chance, but the Tuga's effort to the near post was saved by Osei Bonsu. That pass from Gamma was good, but the Tuga was held by that back header from Owari, but it would not count. After one possession here, and putting this beautiful through pass to Etuga, kept his calm, kept his composure, went around the same ball soon, and the Yoni net was hit to plant the ball in. Open goal, scored by the Premier League's top scorer, Frank Mbele Etuga. Now, it was catch as if you can, from then on, great composure, good sense of awareness, and Etuga will punish Wafa, for poor defending. Over here, it's Sogakope, Asante Kotoko, obviously with the most shots on target, six, Wafa had four corners, but in the end, it's Wafa who are still battling to survive the drop. Wafa nil, Kotoko won. Coach, um, a disappointing defeat to the league leaders.